welcome back to another episode of Shadowtopia Season 3. Alright, so as you know, I've been really busy. I've been making the villagers trades. I've been um, working on some basic farms. I got this guy going. And yeah, um, he's been going pretty good. Pretty solid. And I've been working off in the nether to try to get another base started up. And yeah, let's go take a look, see what I got real quick. So yeah, I've been pretty busy here. Dug out a lot of this area and I got a big hole. Fortunately, while doing this, I seem to have made an accidental gas farm. They just keep spawning, keep blasting me, and then the hoglins keep spawning, and then they chase me. And then the hoglins and the gas are chasing me and blowing me up and trying to kill me. And I pretty much ran out of gold here. Yeah. So this is my little hoglin um, pigmen, pigmen trading farm, or moblins, whatever. And I actually came up with a nice little design here. Like, check this out. See, I put this cobblestone here while I was digging because I didn't want to hit lava and have it just destroy everything. Would have complete. That would have utterly sucked. Anyways, so yeah. Um, this is all oh, fully automated with an automatic shutoff valve. You put the gold up in there, which gets dispensed on a redstone um burnout clock. Um, this little button here starts it up, and this either turns it on or off, depending on where you are in the system. And it does automatically turn itself off as well. So pretty much they. The gold gets dropped right on top of that, yeah, up there, and they all go and go, pick up and grab it, which get the, which they then try to throw, which gets dropped into these hoppers here. The first hopper is this this guy will be detecting everything that goes into that one, which turns that back on. However, because the comparator is seeing no charge here, it does it reads the charge from here, but doesn't uh, continue the charge until this one lights up. But this comparator sees this and then puts on a charge which then tells this one to turn on and then when that turns on that activates that line as well as this line is activating that line and it might be a little more than it actually needs but this line actually will stay active until this line this hopper here is empty so by the time this trickles down into this hopper and then this hopper trickles into this chest, then when the last item turn, um, clicks out, this turns off, which ignites, um, t triggers that again and repeats the cycle. I have finally solved the problem that I've had with these things. They were always too fast, too efficient, or something. And now I made a very simple compact one that actually works very, very well. And very fast. Because, I mean, it just waits until that hopper is empty, which is just putting into that chest. So now that that chest is full, any item in there automatically keeps this on, or rather, it basically shuts itself off. Because it doesn't re-trigger that. Well, looks like something came over here, fell, and died. Alright. However, after digging this hole out, getting blasted, and gasted, and hogland, and mobland, and... I'm... I'm sorry, guys. I think I am going to have to move. The... Hello? Hello, sir? Um, nothing to see here. This is my gold armor. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to move. Um, I want to build. I like to build, and I want to be able to farm and build, and doing it in the nether the way it is right now, this area is just, it's too spawn heavy. 
and there are better areas to build but you know for simplicity I think it's time to move All right, so we are actually going to move the base. This whole operation is being moved. I need to find a new location and, well, in search of moving around, I actually found that we were very close to where the other um, sh shades here have started up a, sh a business. They're on um, the shopping district. Not too far from here, maybe about mm, a couple thousand, maybe a thousand blocks away. Which is surprising, because I ran in the opposite direction each and every time. I'm like, really? Anyways, I am lost and confused no more. However, because they're so close, I'm like, why don't we all hop aboard the crazy train and have a, a little bit of a ride? All right, guys, thank you for coming back. And, well, I had a whole lot of footage about setting this up getting the rails down, fighting some mobs, dying a couple of times, and, well, even doing a couple of trades, because shulkers! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, I can actually carry a lot more stuff now. This is amazing. Oh. Alright, so, yeah. I am freaking ecstatic. This is amazing. Alright, so, first off, well, I don't really have a sign yet, but I'll put one up here eventually. Here's my train station, so we just get in, like so. Hit the button, and do 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 do. All aboard! <laughs> All right, all aboard this little crazy train. Let's go! Choo choo, woo! Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a ride out. This makes it so much easier to get in. Um, find everyone. And I got... Yeah, yeah. I even took the time to make a little bridge here. I'll probably decorate it a little bit more. All right. And I see the sun's going down, which is kind of stinky, but whatever. I should be at the shopping district in just a moment. And actually, at the moment, since I don't have an elytra yet, uh, I wonder if I can... Actually, you know what? I have 14 di um 14 diamond ore blocks. I wonder if I can trade some for someone's elytra. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? How about we try some yokai magic? Sounds like it'd be interesting. All right. Let's get ready to shop. Ooh boy, look at this. People have been busy. Why is the duck police on fire? Wow. Okay, moving along. Alright, so we have a wool shop and what is that up there is that a bird why is there a bird on the sheep's head that's knitting us oh my goodness that's a sock yeah I uh, don't know what that's supposed to be like some kind of statue something I don't know so much going on here and I, I mean people have been busy it's like i step out for a moment i get lost and next thing you know things get really crazy like what is this future home of shady tower of shady deals monster beat nope nope the candle shop oh that does look like a candle don't it all right one oh amethyst shards shop Little bookie for the book, little looky for the bookie, yeah. Chanting room. And we got a general store. I think this is white tops. Yep, this is white top. Oh, I just love how the glow ink works with this stuff now. 
Nope. Alright, what do we got here? Um, I think this was something. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of things are happening in the shopping district. It's just starting to t take shape. And, well, I don't really have plans to put um, any kind of a shop down. So, ow. We'll have to see. I might have to. I might be able to come up with something. I'll have to see what everyone else comes up with first, and or maybe I'll just. I don't know. I can try to get um generals. What was it? A spirit general back over here, but at the same time, I don't know if I'll be able to. I mean, I've I spirit general only gets made once a season, or summoned in this season's case. So I don't know. I'll have to see. What is this? Pom pori passe what what? What? I I, I you know I don't even know. No. I don't know. Oh, these people are so creative. It's like I don't know what to do to keep up with this. They got the road coming in now too. All right. All right. Let's go make some... Oh, you know what? I have to get my work done on this nether thing. We have to relocate it and try to find a way to the roof and going down. And, you know, I got a lot of work to do. Let me see if I can get a hold of you guys, some of the guys over here that know how to do this stuff a little better than I do. Find a nice location and... Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and welcome back. So, we're going to go and, you know, try some yokai magic here now that we went to the shopping district. Picked up a few things, talked to a few people, and, well, I didn't really get too many f much footage of that, unfortunately. But, well, Ace Destruction there, also, I think this guy's, I don't know. But, yeah, we talked to a few guys there, and he made a few deals with them, and, well, it was fun. <laughs> they do like my base, so it's... I mean, this, this is a good starter base, but I think it's time to move on. And now that we actually have a good, decent farm and a, a good supply, all these good resources, I think it's really time to start moving out to a new home. Now, granted, I'm going to miss all these guys, but efficiency and, well, it's not. But it, it was a good start. So, first things first, if I'm going to get moving, we need to figure out transportation. We need wings. That means getting an elytra. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you can easily get one if you go down and do some end busting. But no, no time for that. We just went on the crazy ride on the crazy train, and we're going to continue that ride, and we are going to do some magic. Let's go. Let the ritual begin.
Ho, 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 wings, baby. Ooh, nicely enchanted. Hopefully that just ended up back in my inventory. All right. Don't forget, folks, it's always important to clean up after your rituals. All right. That was fun. Woo! We got wings. Now we can fly. All right, guys. So now that we got the elytra, we got wings, and we are going to fly. All right. So we do have a lot of work to do. We have to find a new location. I gotta do a lot of scouting, and I gotta figure out where everyone is, cause, you know, I don't really want to be hogging up any space in the nether roof or wherever I'm gonna be going. Cause wherever I go, I need, I need a village. First off, that's what I need is a village. All right, cause I need to get villagers. Unfortunately, these guys are not coming with me. That would just be crazy. All right, so. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go fly around, scout the area, and see what we got. like we got a place built we got another portal already set up and I yes I even connected it to the nether roof we are in the nether and we are ready to go all that's left is to break some bedrock and we are in get some you know what the nice thing is there's this shipwreck here that can actually be a lot of fun to play with as well this, this is a nice little village on the nice little peninsula and I'm um, I'm gonna have some fun with it so I'm gonna do like a little bit of building out here make this place a little more habitable for the villagers get a villager breeder and all that kind of all that fun stuff going work on some farms trading halls and i'm going to be back in business and after that well oh well, at the same time we'll be working on the nether base and yeah we got it good i mean this place is actually kind of nice i'm like we got the sheep we got cows we got water Oh, uh, it's just an island. Okay. So, yeah. We seem to be doing pretty good in this spot. And it's actually quite a bit away from everyone. And not, and yet, not far enough. <laughs> so, but yeah, everything here is fresh. Nothing's been raided, touched, or anything. Which is amazing. And, you know, by next episode, we'll be, I'll be able to show some more work. And maybe we'll even get a, a bit of the uh, nether stuff done, too. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> yeah. We got the wings. We got the shulkers. We got materials. We are moving in. And we got the villagers. And everything is great. So. If you like this episode. Please click the like and subscribe button down below. And check out the other guys channel. For all the Shadow Topa and United Craft. They are all really good amazing builders. And if you have any ideas for, an, for a shop. I can um. I can probably remake. I mean, season two, I did have the, um, it's a secret to everybody. And that was basically a Moblin, uh, Ze Legend of Zelda themed store. And I can do it again. Hopefully I don't lose a P Triforce piece this time. <laughs> All right, guys. So just remember, 
please click the like and subscribe button as it really does help the uh, channel out. And thank you for watching. And remember, keep being awesome. Bye.